Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today I am sharing my thrift haul DIYs with you guys. I am starting with this gorgeous, um, I think it is supposed to be a plate rack. That's what it is. And I got it for £6.50 at the thrift store and I am going to change it to for something else to fulfill a different function in my home. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take off all these screws um, uh, because I want to paint the shelves a different color and I want to paint the that metal thing a different color. So I will take out all the screws and I will paint the shelf white and then I am going to spray paint the handles on the side, the silver handles and the screws in gold. I am using plastic coat spray paint in gold and I am just using leftover bathroom paint that I had at home in white to paint the shelves. So I am not spending any money on these. Well, I'm going to be spending a little bit of money, but on the paint, no money. This is what the shelf is looking like after one coat of paint. I was also, I'm using a roller, so a foam roller, and then I'm also using a foam brush because the crevices were really hard to get into. So I'm using this foam brush to get into those bits and underneath those little dowels that are on the, on the plate rack. It was really tricky to use a roller on that. So the foam brush came in very, very handy. So while that's drying, I am going to make two wooden, sh well, I'm using to this wood that I got cut from B&Q and I'm using it to, um, I'm just going to line it with a uh, contact paper, marble contact paper, because I want to cover the shelves, the shelves inside the, well, I want to cover the shelves. So I am just cutting my contact paper to size and then I am going to cover this with the contact paper. I didn't bother painting this. I just thought it was going to be quick and easy to cover both sides. So I'm going to start. This is the front. Um, I'm going to cover it. It's so simple to use. Just peel out a little bit at a time. Use either a credit card. I have this squidgy thing that I got when um, I first bought contact paper for the first time. And it's been serving me really well. So I just use that to push it back, get all the air bubbles out of it and yeah and that's it it's really really simple to do and what well, these uh, contact papers are very forgiving so if you make a mistake you can pull it off and put it back on again mine was from b q it was about seven pounds for a roll i have been using this for so many many things if you've been watching my videos you've seen me use contact paper on a lot of things and it's just been this one particular role so they are really really cost effective and they make such a great impact on anything that you're doing so i'm just showing you how that i do the corners and once this is done i'm just going to use another contact paper just to cover the back as you can see here and and that's it so i'm going to do the same for the other one and then once i'm done this is what i said i was going to do so to cover this i didn't want those I, I wanted to cover that too, the two of that. So I didn't want that bottom bit showing. Um, and then I would just attach that, uh, the side back. And this is what it is looking like. I absolutely love it. The gold makes it stand out. I am really enjoying using gold, as you can tell. I really am. And I think I'm getting a bit obsessed with it. But I will, I'm using this in my kitchen. So I'm going to be using it as my coffee station. And I am loving how it turned out. My second, my second DIY, no, my second, yes, DIY is this i am um, i bought these two they were five pounds each really really love them so i am going to spray paint them as well i am using a plastic coat primer i had the gray one at home so i'm just using the gray uh, to cover the black and then i'm gonna use gold over it and that was it really 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 simple and this is what they're looking like i didn't like it in black so i wanted to make it gold and i love 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 how they turned out i'm going to be using it 
on my coffee table and this is what it looks like those books also that they are sitting on are from the charity store what i did was i just i look for books that have black or whatever color that i'm looking for and i just take the covers off and i use the books these books were two for a pound so i got quite a few books but they were two for a pound my third one is this feather thing i thought it was a leaf and then it's a feather so leaf or feather um yeah so i am using this i found this and i really liked it but i hate the colors in it so i am doing exactly what i did with the two ballerina mannequins so spray painting it with primer first and then i am not spray painting it this gold i'm spraying i'm painting it white and i'm just using leftover matte spray paint that i had from another project that i did and i did two coats of it with um the white and then once it was dry i'm using a rustoleum uh, gold leaf pen and i am just going to run it through the sides of the uh, feather basically what i'm trying to do is just to give it a little bit of depth and depth and def definition as well it just looked really flat when it was white especially because the paint was matte as well so i thought that this was going to make such a nice uh, contrast to it initially i just did just a little bit in the grooves but in the end i decided as you will see right here to go right into it just to give it a little bit more interest and i like it this way i think it looks so much better like this so yeah this also can be used on your coffee table it can be used on your dressing table wherever i just think it looks really really cute it's a nice little ornament i added this other ornament that i picked up from tk max a little while ago and they look really gorgeous together um and my last one i think this is my last one um is this uh, little tray that i picked up for two pounds and then i'm using those are lights that you use outside the solar lights this one weren't working anymore so i thought i could use the little that little bright bit um as a stand so i'm just mixing up some um what do you call this uh glue that's it it's epox uh, epoxy epoxy glue and i am just going to um yeah glue those uh, legs on on here this was really straightforward simple i actually thought about spray painting the back because i thought if i did you would be able to see the design on the plate a little better but then i thought no it's nice to leave it nice and clear um and which is what i did so and it looked really really gorgeous when it was all done it looks really nice i love the height that this gives it and yeah so it will make such a good piece you can put your perfumes on top of this you can put your makeup on top of this um i'm just showing you something else so i've got baking soda in there and two different plants and i really really love how it turned out two pounds and free uh, free legs pretty much and yeah so that is all thank you guys so so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i must say again that i'm really sorry that i haven't been consistent with my posting but i have a lot going on at the moment and i will try to keep up with it i promise if you are new to my channel please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification button and i will see you in the next one guys bye